Kate and Brick here with another uh, review. I'm very excited for this review because this is an amazing set, very big. Um, it is set 10241, the Maris Glide Triple E. It has 1,518 pieces. All of those pieces go to great use as we see how big this model really is. That's pretty big. Um, and I'm really excited about this. Um, uh, as you see, it does include. It does have an included display stand. Um, that's nice that Lego gave us that for the, this model. And um, let's take a look at the display stand, and then we'll check. Take a look at the um, the whole model and its details. Okay, so this is the display stand. We'll take a look at the um, sticker in a moment. I just want to show you, this is a, one of the very large panel pieces from Lego, small, some smaller ones on the side. And these are axle connections to put the ship on. Uh, we'll take a look at, at how the, that goes on in a moment. Just on the bottom, a couple larger plates that Lego gives us, five of those. Um, and then this is this... Uh, um, um, this plaque is removable. It's on these hinges, and on it's this is the sticker over a couple pieces. Um, this uh, over six uh, two by four plates, and okay. So as you can see, the sticker. Uh, you can pause the video here. Okay, so here we have the display stand and the ship. Let's see how it goes on. Um, they have some 2x4s with a hole on bottom. We can take a look at those closer when we take a look at the bottom of the ship a bit later in the video. Um, so those just those axle pieces just stick in there very nicely and just slide down and just push down on that. Okay, so this is the um, container ship itself. Um, this is modeled after the Triple E and I think it gets a... Um, the overall point across of the design um, with the the water the water line right here with the red bottom paint. Um, the you have a window here just uh, not uh, just to show you the there's inter interior detail. We can take a look at that. It's just engine. Um, if we look around here. Um, Back here, we have you have the sticker here. I don't know if you can see it. It's Maris McKinley Moeller um, Miller up, Miller up, uh, right under. Okay, so there's that sticker right on the back, and you have a small light there on a couple fences, and then you have these adjustable uh, rudders back here too, and then the gold. Um, gold propellers with the black shaft that actually go into the engine and we can take a look at that uh, we'll look at that when we take a look at the engine um, just around the side again um, so there's a row of three container stacks here um, the two uh, smoke stacks here um, and these aren't supposed to be removable but since they're on jumper for jumper place you can Look at that, and that's a sticker right there, and just some of the um, top vents on the top there, and that looks really nice when you have them all lined like that. Um, and then here you have two regular um, container stacks, and then three with um, the white, um, this part of it. Are all on all three of them are all uh, the, just white. These are all two by four um, bricks, and they're just the uh, white instead of gray. Um, and then over here you have the bridge, and let's we'll take a look at that. But I just want to show you there are three more stacks, regular stacks here, and then there's a smaller one, and then an even smaller one up here. Um, so the bridge is slightly removable, but um, just it just comes up like that. And as you see from up there, there is a row of windows to for the captain to look down. 
and these two uh, support beams actually look really nice um, and just some radar antennas and then more radar and then a large light up there the front's pretty plain um put down put that back on and bring it closer so you can see that um there is this um this pistol piece here i don't know if that's a pistol piece but it's uh used for to load off the um, emergency dinghy. Right. So the hinge, this doesn't hinge properly, but it still goes side to side, so you can store away in that or bring it out like you're pretending to bring this boat out onto the water. And so this is the lifeboat. They give you one on this side and one on the other side. And this is the life ring for and for lifeguard. And this is from one of the minifigure series um, series. Is and so that just clips on with a single clip, and so that's pretty cool. Um, the, this is a large sticker across many pieces. Once again, that's not that nice, but it's fine for this use. Um, and up in the front, as you come to the front, the, these um, these bricks. It's actually using a lot of bricks, just regular bricks in red and um blue and they just come forward and up here um they turn into these one of these three of these larger blue um blue ship front pieces um that are just offset by one um stud that so that comes up and then these have some very nice uh shaping the, the front has some very nice shaping for the red um just some regular brick uh, brick built um, front uh, that's a nice technique and then you have a snot snot used um, bulbous up here and on the other side you can see from the front um, that sh um, the bridge more clearly and that that's pretty nice the center line comes down very nicely and then up front here um, here you can see that um, these side bars are attached very nicely and that gives it a very nice shaping for the very top. And this is just another light post for um, so the captain can see more clearly out in the front. And this um, piece does come off, there's a 2x4 that comes off. And underneath there, this is going to be very, very hard to see, but maybe you can get there's a gold bar or gold coin right there and that's used in real ship for a good luck burner so that's that's pretty iconic to the real ship and it does have a gold coin up there and so that's pretty nice um up on the other side you can see um is identical with the same sticker and then this side is just as identical Okay, um, I did, I wanted to show you that up here on the bridge section. Actually, let me show you one more feature before I show you that. So all of these um, sections come off. All these container sections come off. Um, a lot of stickers are used here. Once again, more stickers over multiple pieces, which is a shame that they had to do that. But to get the, the flat top, on the uh, tops of the containers, they had to do that, and I think it looks fine. But as I said, so all of these just come up, um, and including this one, which has its own little space in there, and put that back. And then just there, all these rows of brown fences for um, um, four stud long fences that just hold it in place and then there's some there's these very small the smaller fences here and you can just put those on there and there and the details i wanted to show you is up here so the bridge comes off and they include 
two of these extra um, uh, gold coins, one, two, and one, and that can just go in the storage compartment. Bring this around, I did want to show you the engine, as you can see a bit up here. Um, you just take these sections off, and this one, and then you also take this, uh, this comes off as a section as well, and I should bring a piece of the engine with it, which is not good. Um, so, those come off, and then in there you have, um, uh, the two engines, um, with some support detailing, um, some support detailing on the bottom, um, so, um, on the, these might be just some more uh, greebling up on top, and then on this, on this side, there are some, um, more greebling on the side, and then on the other side, there's also this, the same detailing on the other side, and that's nice just to know that Lego gave you some detailing that you can't see. And then there are two uh, heads on the side there. Um, and then, actually, just to give you a better look, I'll take these sections off just so you can see that. And then there's some plates here. Okay, so I took all these containers off, and if we move those out of the way, side, um, we can just see the under just what's down here, so a lot of these uh, brown gates up here, this is where the smaller one goes, very small one, and then just a lot of red velvet uh, colored burks used here and uh, up there, just to get this very nice shaping down here, and then um, I did wanted to note that these are um, sand green, it's very, I'm very happy that um, Lego gave us the engine in, in those parts in sand green, and so that's pretty nice. Um, underneath, I'll take the bridge section off to, we can turn this all upside down, or sideways, and you can see underneath there are a lot of these uh, one by two inverted um, uh, circle discs. Uh, with a flat bottom, so you can carry, uh, drag this around on your floor and it won't scratch out the pieces or the floor, and that's really nice. And heavy, as you can see, there are these, uh, these are the two 2x4s uh, two that has these, the holes in them uh, for connecting uh, the boat to the base, and that's nice. As you can see, there's just a lot of shaping back here on the back. To, I forgot to show that is how much shaping there is from back here and then on the side that looks nice how it comes up and then there are these two on both sides <coughs> the two um, exhausts or uh, bilges that uh, outflows right there and just that light which I've shown you and then up here I did forget to show you the disease two um, on either side lights, red and green. Okay, so on a whole, this is, I think, a great set, a great number of pieces for its price. Um, uh, there's actually quite a bit of play value, even though it might not seem that there are a lot of play features. There's still a lot of uh, detail, and if you get, um, you just build some custom um, mini, mini figures, uh, like in go around here on the, on your boat, it's, it's really fun. And if you get some other smaller uh, uh, sets of this scale, it's really fun. So I definitely recommend this set. Um, but bye for now, this is TNM Brooks. Please like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. And see you next time, this is TNM Brooks.